everybody, today I'm going to be doing my March wrap-up and my April TBR. So my March wrap-up is going to be a little bit different because I decided to add in a few more things that I read and some things that I listened to in this video. And listen to not as an audiobook, but as a musical album. So you'll see what that one is in just a second. I just thought I would add some more variety into this one just because I know that I have not read as many books this month, so I decided to add more content into it by talking about what else I did this month besides just reading a novel. The reason I'm doing that is because half of this month was extremely busy with Zenith edits and also with life stuff and then the next half of the month, more like the last week of this month, was more like relaxation and finally getting back into reading. So that's why I did not have as many books this month but next month I have a prediction that there will be lots more because life is finally coming together and calming down. Okay, so let's get into it. So my March wrap-up, the first book I read this month was The Valiant by Leslie Livingston. So this book was a Presutopia book club book for the month of March and we were working with Penguin to bring you it and I'm so excited that we got to read this with you guys and I'm going to be doing a spoiler free review up on my channel very soon but as of right now I'm just gonna say that I definitely love this book. It was very interesting especially because it had to do with gladiators and the gladiator history that I don't know really a lot about. Honestly yes I'm a history major but my major focuses on mainly 70s hundreds onwards. Because I have not gotten to the gladiator era just yet in my teachings, but hopefully when I get to it, I'll know a little bit more of it because of this novel. Let me just say that this was a badass book with an awesome main character who was just so, holy crap. Oh, oh, oh. It was a spider, huge spider, just like started descending onto my patio. And those are the jumping kind I learned. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking creepy. Oh my gosh, that was huge. It's up there, and I know it may look small, but that is not a small spider. That is a huge spider. Then the one that's descending is right over there. Oh! It's times like these where I wish I was as badass as the main character in this book, because she was awesome. And that's why I gave this book a 3.75 out of 5 stars. Okay, so the next thing that I read this month was a magazine, and I found it at Kroger, because that's a grocery store I go to. I usually don't go and pick up magazines because I'm like, eh, I usually think of them as the tabloids that say, so-and-so broke up with so-and-so, big scam! So I don't really care about them, but I found a National Geographic one that had to do with something that I love And that is the medieval world and I actually read this whole entire thing and I found it so interesting So I definitely recommend that you guys go check out National Geographic stuff because I follow them on social media And I go online and read their articles, but I never really picked up their magazines and I found this one so interesting It just shows you all this cool medieval stuff and it tells you the history behind it and it's not just like you know one article that's about it, but like the whole entire magazine had to do with just strictly the medieval world, and I really like that. I know that you'd expect it to be all about the medieval world because that's the title, but sometimes magazines, there are about something, but a majority of the magazine isn't about said thing that's on the cover. I mean, also, if you have a castle on the cover of a magazine, I am bound to buy it just because it has a castle on it. Yep, I still feel really like creeped out because of that spider, guys. Oof. No thanks. Okay, and the musical thing that I was talking about is something that you guys have been telling me to listen to for a year now? Maybe even more. And the thing is, if somebody tells me to go listen to something, and then more people rally behind that person for me to listen to something, and they're like, you gotta do it, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> because I'm a stubborn a-hole, pretty much. Or it's more like a lot of people hype it up, and then I don't want to feed into the hype. And it's really bad, it's really weird. And I ended up not listening to this thing up until my friend Kayla was the person who broke the camel's back to say a uh, saying that I don't even know if it belongs in this sentence. Anyways, <laughs> my friend Kayla, she was over here for my birthday and she was telling me how she really loved this track and how I should listen to it. And I'm like, you know what? Nobody has really told me to listen to it for quite a while. So Kayla, you're the person who made me listen to it. Even though 20 billion people before that probably wanted me to listen to it because they told me to. So Kayla, you're the winner. <laughs> and what is that guys? What is it? Probably can guess what it is. It is Hamilton. <laughs> Oh 
Okay, I'm done. Hamilton the Musical. That was written by Lin-Manuel Miranda, and he played Hamilton in the first batch of musicals that they did, and now that they're like spread off amongst, you know, the United States now, there's other people playing the characters, but he was the very first original Hamilton character. And I finally have listened to the first act of it, and then I listened to some of the second one, but I listened to the first act, guys. But it was actually really good. I listened to it in the car, and I was very impressed. So yes, I listened to Hamilton, and I do like it, and I continue listening to it now because it's a good soundtrack, I have to admit. I'm excited to see what the rest of the soundtrack has in store for me. Okay, now we get on to my TBR for this month. So the first book I plan on reading is a Nora Roberts book, which is called Jewels of the Sun, and it's book one in the Gallagher's of Ardmore trilogy. When you hear the word Gallagher's, doesn't it make you think about Shameless, anybody else? Shameless, the TV show, it's so good, it's so good. But this definitely is not like Shameless, definitely not. It's hard to think of anything that's like Shameless. But anyways, so this book is a story that's set in Ireland. It's about an American woman who goes to Ireland kind of to get away from her life because she felt like she needed to change some things up. So she went to Ireland and there she meets Aiden and Aiden lives in Ireland but he's out traveling the world for quite a few years so this is him coming back and he meets her and they share a love of folklore with each other. And there's lots of magical type things in this book and they talk about Celtic folklore and that's one of my passions is Celtic folklore. So I'm really excited to see how that's brought out in this novel and I'm really excited to read it. The next book is Lily Collins memoir which is unfiltered and I I am so excited to read this. I plan on reading it last month, but I just didn't get to it. So now I'm gonna be reading it and I'm so excited because I love Lily Collins. She's such a great actress and person in general. And so I'm really excited to see what she comes up with in this book. And lastly, we have the Presutopia Book Club book for the month of April, and that is Royce Rolls by Margaret Stoll. So this book is about a girl named Bentley Royce, and she has a reality show with her family, kind of like Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but this one's called Rolling with the Royces. So catchy. What would my reality show be? Acting up with the Allsbergs. Oh my gosh, that's so obnoxious. Uh, stop me now. So it's about this girl and her name's Bentley and she's part of this reality world. She's a reality star. But she wants out after life starts getting crazy and she just doesn't want anything to do with it. And luckily for her, her then five seasons TV show is coming to an end probably with season six because there's no confirmation that they're gonna have a next season. And with this news looming over her family, her family starts to crumble because without this TV show, there's not really much of a family. But all of a sudden, one day, her car goes over a cliff the day that her sister's huge TV wedding is supposed to happen. And that's when things start to get real. So I'm really sad to be working with Freeform Books for this book to be brought to you guys for the Pre-Zootopia Book Club. So definitely go check it out. I'll be linking it down below. So let me know down below what the title of your reality show would be if you would have one. So I'd love to know some reality names that you would choose for your own shows. Okay guys, so that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!